going to tell them that we're not going to have a Law Enforcement Marine or just no. not going to do it? No. Good morning. We're about to begin. I'm going to load up our website. Good morning, Carol. Sometimes I have to go scroll down and realize. It's it's Sorry. not it's not showing there. It's not loading either. All right, yeah. Amanda, good morning. Okay. Can you all hear us okay? See us okay? Here we go. Okay. So, good morning on this Thursday, October 24th, I think it is. <laughs> September. September. My how time flies when you're having fun. And uh, our children are coming uh, in October around that time. So looking forward to that. So welcome to Morning Prayer, sponsored by, brought to you by the Episcopal Church of the Epiphany in Richardson, Texas. And we will begin with... Yes, um, we'll begin with a hymn from um, our book, hymn book number 594 god of grace and god of glory hymn number 594 <clears throat> god of grace and god of glory on thy people pour thy power crown thy ancient church and story Bring the pot to the glorious flower. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage for the facing of this hour. For the facing of this hour. Though the host of evil around us scorn thy Christ assail the ways from the fears that long have bound us free our hearts to faith and praise grant us wisdom grant us courage for the fleeting of these days for the living of these days. Cure thy children's warring madness, bend our bright to thy control. Shame our want and selfish gladness, rich in things and poor in soul. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage, lest we miss thy kingdom's goal, lest we miss thy kingdom's goal. Save us from weak resignation to the evils we deplore. Let thy gift of thy salvation be our glory evermore. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage, serving thee whom we adore, serving thee whom we adore. 
turn me with me, if you will, to page 79 for the confession of sin. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most, Most merciful God, God we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, word and, and deed, by what, what we have done and by what, what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn to page 82 for the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. salvation. Let, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalms appointed for today are Psalm 146 and Psalm 147, which can be found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 803. Psalm 146 and Psalm 147 will read by whole verse. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in rulers, nor in any children of the earth, for there is no help in them. When they breathe their last, they return to earth, and in that day their thoughts perish. Happy are they who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God. Who made heaven and earth, the seas, and all that is in them who keeps his promise forever. Who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who are hunger. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. He sustains the orphan and widow, but frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Hallelujah. Psalm 147. Hallelujah. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant it is to honor him with praise. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. There is no limit to his wisdom. The Lord lifts up the lowly, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve mankind. He provides food for flocks and herds and for the young ravens when they cry. He is not impressed by the might of the horse. He has no pleasure in the strength of a man. But the Lord has pleasure in those who fear him and those who await his gracious favor. Worship the Lord, O Jerusalem. 
praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He has established peace on your border. He satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends out his command to the earth, and his word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He scatters his hail like breadcrumbs. Who can stand against his cold? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with the wind and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and his judgments to Israel. He has not done so to any other nation. To them he has not revealed his judgments. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading is from Acts chapter 19, verses 11 through 20. Acts chapter 19, verses 11 through 20. God did extraordinary miracles through Paul so that even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick and their illnesses were cured and the evil spirits left them. Some Jews who went around driving out evil spirits tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who were demon possessed. They would say, in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. Seven sons of Sceva, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this. One day the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know, and I know about Paul, but who are you? Then the man who had the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered, overpowered them all. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house naked and bleeding. When this became known to the Jews and Greeks living in Ephesus, they were all seized with fear and the name of the Lord Jesus was held in high honor. Many of those who believed now came and openly confessed their evil deeds. A number who had practiced sorcery brought their scrolls together and burned them publicly. When they calculated the value of the scrolls, the total came to 50,000 drachmas. In this way, the word of the Lord spread widely and grew in power. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us say together Canticle number 8, found on page 85 in the prayer book, The Song of Moses, Canticle number 8, page 85. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him the God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand, the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love you led the people you redeemed. With your might you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Gospel reading is from the book of Luke, chapter 4, verses 14 through 30. Luke, chapter 4, verses 14 through 30. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news about him spread through the whole countryside. He taught in their synagogues, and everyone praised him. 
He went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. On the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue, as was his custom, and he stood up to read. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him, and he began by saying to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his lips. Isn't this Joseph's son, they asked? Jesus said to them, Surely you will quote this proverb to me. Physician, heal yourself. Do hear in your hometown what we have heard that you did in Capernaum. I tell you the truth, he continued, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. I assure you that there were many widows in Israel in, in Elijah's time, when the sky was shut for three and a half years, and there was a severe famine throughout the land. Yet Elijah was not sent to any of them, but to a widow in Zarephath, in the region of Sidon. And there were many in Israel with leprosy in the time of Elisha, the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, only Naaman the Syrian. All the people in the synagogue were furious when they heard this. They got up, drove him out of the town, and took him to the brow of the hill on which the town was built in order to throw him down the cliff. But he walked right through the crowd and went on his way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle number 19, the Song of the Redeemed, found on page 94. Page 94, Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now the Apostles' Creed, found on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Suffrages A, page 97. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Let your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. 
we invite your prayers and thanksgivings at this time. Send them in and we'll um, pray for them today. They also will be gathered together and we will pray for them. Uh, various people will pray for them throughout the week. And I lost my place. Here we go. This is a collect for this Sunday. O oh God, you declare your almighty power, chiefly in showing mercy and pity. <clears throat> Grant us the fullness of your grace, that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we bless you and we praise you and we adore you. We thank you that we can gather where two or three are gathered in your name. You're in our midst. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are our intercessors, constantly interceding for us, praying with prayers that go straight to the Father. And so, Lord, we come to you thanking you that we have your Holy Spirit and that you pray through us. For the needs of the world. Lord, we thank you for holding this world in your hands. We thank you for your great redemption, your redemption story that is being played out day by day by day. We lift up our world to you. We repent on behalf of its sin. We repent on behalf of the sins of the church. We repent for our own sins and we humble ourselves before you and we cry out to you to touch us, to come by the power of your spirit and heal us as a land, heal us as families, heal us personally, Lord, we need you. We especially lift up the unrest again um, that is going on in so many of our cities. Come, Prince of Peace, bring grace and truth, bring justice, and Lord, let us let people everywhere look to you and find you. We continue to pray for all of our students, our parents, teachers, and administrators. They're in schools, and all kinds of schools, private, public, um, universities, our homeschools, our families, particularly in our congregation that are homeschooling their children. Lord, we just pray um, peace, we pray safety, we pray our eagerness for learning. Lord, uh, we thank you for uh, touching Shanti. Uh, we thank you and rejoice that um, she's carrying a new baby as well. And we thank you for protecting that child and growing that child up. We pray for healing for her, for this bladder infection. We thank you for... Uh, the trip to the doctor and the medicines. We continue to pray for Mamie, uh, who's alone, and others like her who struggle with loneliness in this time. Uh, holy angels, go. Go to them. Uh, bring the presence of Jesus and bring people into their lives that can encourage them, that they can share the light of Christ with others. We give thanks for Trisha's healing. Thanks to all the doctors and the nurses and the staff at the Methodist Richardson Hospital. We thank you, God, for touching her and healing her. 
Lord, we lift up um, many who we know that need your prayers. Carolyn Howell, Jim Vineyard, Pat Bell, Kathy Hicks, Sarah and Jeff Shield, Mary Braswell, Caleb Lockwood, John F. Tanner, Kay Paji, Natalie Salas, Susan Brooks, Ron Morissette, June Sullivan, Charlotte Fredericks, Hunter Haney and parents and brother, Michael Brennan, we give you praise for a clear report. Thank you, Lord, for all of our prayers being answered. Also, thank you for healing Gunjan's father, um, who was in the hospital, is now at home, uh, having survived COVID. We give you praise and thanksgiving. For Mid Shotwell, for Davis Slayton, Artis and Tom McCauley, Beth Greenwood, Catherine Collins, Ray Bowers, Joe Arata, Becky Campbell Bellows, for Brooke with lymphoma, for Lucy Dean, for Andrea who lost her husband, we pray for your comfort, Lord. Linda Acosta, Mary Ann in the ICU with COVID, Lord Jesus, send your healing powers and, and deliver her. We give thanksgiving that Blair is better, but we ask for continued healing for the skin allergy, skin rash. For Allison, we pray your presence in her life, that she would find faith in you and that you would heal her of her back problems. We thank you for um, your presence in Robin's life. We pray for relief from back pain from Randy Kennett. Lord, we just speak to his back in Jesus' name. And uh, we release your healing powers to bring his pain into alignment. I mean, his back into alignment. Pray for those that are looking for employment, for Kathleen, for Adam, and for Rob. We pray for successful interviews, for Cheryl. We pray for Mike, who's been laid off that he would find employment. And Lord, we pray for Sylvia to find full-time full employment and, sec and a secure place to live. We thank you, Lord, for loving these people and leading them and guiding them. We pray for all those being affected by the fires and the floods, particularly in Houston. Lord, have mercy, send your provision and generosity of many people to reach out to them. We pray for all of our mission efforts, and we thank you, God, for hearing and listening to our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Turning to page 101 for our general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness, in holiness and, and righteousness, righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Be a blessing to others as God flows his blessings through you. Have a wonderful day.